I got a feeling woo, that tonight's gonna be a good night. Hey guys, it's a tech help dude. So, uh, today I'm gonna be showing you how to, you know, download Wii games to your PC and, and play them. Mostly play them, because I'm not really actually gonna download anything, because it takes a long time and it's, uh, well, uh, it's illegal. So, um, yeah. First thing you're gonna need to do is uh, go to the emulator zone. Um, you can find this by just googling Dolphin Emulator for Wii, um, and uh, it'll come up with emulatorzone.com. Um, okay, according to your computer, you're gonna download a 64-bit or 32. So once you download that, you're gonna have to extract it using 7-zip, and if you don't have that, you can download it from 7-zip.org. Um, you just download either one of these; uh, doesn't really matter. Um, once you download that. And, and extract it. It'll come up in a folder like this, um, and just uh, click on Dolphin. This is the application, and uh, it'll load. Once it's unloading, you just uh, hit open, and you find your Wii ISO that you might have downloaded from some illegal torrenting site. But I'm not going to tell you any because it is illegal. Um, and then yeah, you just hit uh, play. Um, you can also configure different stuff, like for the Wii. This also plays GameCube games, so if you want to get a GameCube, um, you know, ISO or whatever, that'll work too. Um, now, if you're wondering, can I just put the Wii disc into my PC? Yes, you can, if you have one of these disc drives. If you do not have one of these six disc drives, no, you cannot. These are actually pretty cheap. You can actually get one of these for under, like, probably 50 bucks. Um, and uh, you can take them anywhere, they're really good, they're used for laptops and stuff. Um, they're USB drives, so they're pretty much USB disk drives. Um, so if you don't have one of those, then you're done for, for that, so you're just gonna have to download a game, or just, you know, play it on your Wii, I don't know. Um, <laughs> and uh, for configuring controllers, if you have, uh, if you don't have a Bluetooth adapter, you're not gonna be able to use your Wiimote. If you do, you can, um, um, yeah, you can use your Wiimote for that, and it's, uh, pretty useful. Uh, for this, you just configure different controls, you know, different buttons, the A, B, X, Y, Z buttons, for different stuff on your keyboard. Set up multiple controllers. Um, you can also, if you've seen my last video, you can actually use a PS3 controller with your PC. And, uh, right now I have the PS3 controller in my hand, I'm moving the analog stick, and as you can see, this red dot's moving, which is pretty sweet. You use the other analog stick, and this dot's moving. Um, so that's pretty sweet. You can actually use PS3 controller, uh, you know, do different stuff. If you actually have a Bluetooth adapter and the Wiimote works, then you can, uh, this is all the settings for it and stuff. Okay, and then you just, uh, play the game. You change to full screen mode for the, the Wii game will actually play in this little menu right here, and you can make a full screen and stuff. Um, yeah, it's a pretty useful little deal, so it's the only known Wii emulator out there, so pretty much. Um, yeah, and then that's pretty much it, so if you got any more questions, go ahead and uh, hit me up on a message and I'll make a video about it or get back to you in some sort of way. So yeah, take up dude out.